processes of designing. Well, a process is a journey. It starts somewhere, travels around and finishes somewhere. A design journey starts when something provokes the spark of an idea in the mind's eye. Let's imagine the following scenario. A young girl of eight is out playing with her friends. As part of the game, she climbs onto a wall, but falls down and damages her back. Her injury is so bad that she has to lie flat on her back in a hospital bed for two months. Now this young girl loves doing jigsaw puzzles. How can designing help her? At this stage, someone may be thinking about using magnets or maybe Velcro. Someone else is thinking of digital possibilities. Another person is imagining changing the angle of the bed. Someone else is considering mirrors, or vague, unclear ideas that came from hearing the story of the girl, all living in the designer's mind. But a process has begun, so what enables these ideas to grow? One way is to do something. Make the idea more visible by drawing, writing, experimenting with materials, or telling someone about it. Another is to think about how good the idea is. Either way will open up questions. Will magnets be strong enough? How might a touch screen be held in position? Will changing the angle of the bed cause further back damage? With each question comes a need to find something out, to try something out. In the process, more ideas emerge. If the designer keeps at it, trying out how the ideas might look and work and thinking about how effective these are and what needs to be done to improve them, the journey continues its wandering path between acting on ideas and reflecting on those actions until a thoughtful, developed outcome is reached. Along the way, some ideas will be rejected, some changed, more questions will come up and decisions made as ideas are tested out and ways of making are explored. New ideas will emerge as the needs and interests of the young girl become clearer. As new information, materials, processes and skills are discovered and learned. The process is iterative. Toing and throwing between thinking and doing. For each person, and maybe each design project, it will be different. Progress will be driven by the needs in the context. For example, the needs of the girl who had damaged her back. But in each case, the process will be driven by a vision, an idea, a need to create something new and by the imagination and creativity of the designer making the journey. Iterative processes are messy, complex and unpredictable. But they allow learners to take ownership of a challenge, to take responsibility for creating something genuinely thoughtful, to take risks, make tricky decisions, experience the excitement of designing and making something entirely unique and to gain both the confidence and the skills to take on new design challenges.